Doesn't seem right, does it? This part is not attached. Broken off. What we got? We got this sprinkler head. It's a four inch head. These bushes are taller than four inches. It's hard for this sprinkler head to pop up and over these bushes. Someone has added these extenders. They're fragile. They have a tendency to be get knocked off. There's no way to just th spin this back on. You could see if the camera was better, the threads from the head itself are broken off in it. We're going to have to replace it. This is a four incher and we're gonna replace it with a 12. So step one, Cody is going to dig it up. You wanna save as much mulch as possible. It's really handy to have a second man for filming purposes. <laughs> do we necessarily need to bury this head all the way? We don't. You do want it down deep enough so that it's pretty. We are dealing with a little curb appeal. Cody, I think I see something. You yeah. see an old nylon elbow. That three quarter? It is a one inch. Okay. Cody brought out an entire kit of parts with commonly used things. This is a one inch by three eighths poly coupler. Looks like Cody is getting pretty close to a workable situation in there. This is our one inch poly pipe. We're gonna cut this out. It's a pair of two inch poly cutters. Give it a good sawing motion. I'm gonna take a one inch to three eighths end run. Crimp. I get that on first. We're gonna heat that a little bit and push our fitting in and sometimes these torches don't like to light when they're muddy. Do your fitting and give her a little tap. Make sure you don't forget to squeeze your crimp clamp when you're done. There's a little bubble on there and you'll feel it grab it. And you'll wanna squeeze them until your crimpers meet. Make sure it's all the way in. Take a little bit of your 3 8 pipe. These ones don't require a crimp on them. You just push it onto that barb. It doesn't have to seat all the way. Just make sure you get it over all the barb section at least. I like to leave a little bit of loop in my pipe down in the hole. Makes it a lot easier to work with what height you need your elbow on your lower head. Get it roughly where you need it and cut yourself off some. Take your new head and then that's a half inch my funny elbow. You'll feel it get snug down in there. Give the other end a little bit of heat. And your new head will push right into that elbow. Just give her a little twist. Make sure there's no kinks in your funny pipe or nothing, but bury it up, make it pretty as you go. All your dirt's in, you spread your mulch. And we can take that nozzle off, and that's the exact same nozzle that we're gonna need for this shape in the bed. Just grab your little orange top off. And that little thread right there is what busted off of your previous head. That's what you're still seeing stuck down in the previous one. Thread in your new one. On the top of it, it's got little finger marks. Shows where the water goes, and you just turn the whole thing. See them down in there? It says on the rear of it that it's a 15-8, so it's gonna do a 15-foot half circle. 